Paige Taylor. I'm 25 years old. I'm a street artist from Kingston, Jamaica. This is what I've been doing for as long as I can remember. I found one of my second grade like report cards the other day and from then I was getting complaints about not focusing on drawing instead and stuff like that. So the case I've always known. Family has always been supportive, you know, because even going to art school, for the four years my parents had no idea at all what I was here doing. Could have been in all kind of activities. <laughs> but yeah, they kind of just put faith in me, you know, and supported me as much as they could. And I guess now that they kind of have a better understanding of it, they're even more supportive. I remember my first mural actually, yeah, it was completely an accident. I met Matthew McCarthy in like my second year of art school and he went on to become a mentor. And then he mentioned Paint Jamaica to me and I was just there assisting him, assisting around the place and a wall opened up and they were like, yo, you want to paint? And I'm like, sure, I'll paint. I've never done this before, but what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Before I started focusing heavily on street art, um, it was just run of the mill, you know. I was in art school, I was doing my assignments. On the side of that, I was doing graphics, graphic design, few illustrations there about on commission, but nothing too serious. The best thing about being out on the street is interacting with people and the feedback, the live feedback. The worst part is heavily the live feedback. <laughs> Paint is a thing of patience. At some point it's just not going to make sense until it starts making sense and a lot of people don't really get that sometimes. Impatience, as I say, we live in a now society so they want to see everything finished now. I think a lot of the times when I'm on the street, you have to work with the clock because being outside, it's easy to get fatigued because the sun, the elements, not working with all of that. So does it motivate me more in the sense of reaching a timeline? But apart from that, creatively wise, I take any, any medium. There is definitely a way I approach doing my work, but it lies heavily in my subject matter and my colours. Locally, there aren't a lot of people using aerosols and spray paint to execute. The finishes you'll get with them is just going to differ greatly from NML. I just personally feel like you can do more street art-wise with spray paint. So you can get your hard lines, your soft lines a lot cleaner than you can with a paintbrush. It is 100% more difficult and you have to be very aware of your colours and your tones. So if you're not sure about what you're doing, it's easy to mess up. I think the reason I chose to really use spray paint as my primary medium is I like the challenge actually and as I said, the finish is completely different. A lot of the times I'm working on, I have a particular theme in mind. so. I just go through a process of thinking about what that means to me, what that would mean to other people, um, subject matter that relates to the theme there on along that line and then I just go from there. Completing a mural, it's rarely ever overnight thing or in the moment thing. I mean you're gonna have pieces that, you know, just spur the moment. It may not have like the same finish that a thoroughly planned out one might, but Process-wise, you'll have to, as I say, conceptualize. I think this is the part that takes the longest. You can go from a day to months. But once you're out there, you get the concept down, you get the equipment and you're out there. Painting is really actually one of the quicker parts because I've done a mural in a day. I've done a mural in two weeks. I'm talking huge, huge pieces. So the big chunk of time will be spent conceptualizing. I still do a lot of digital art. When I'm not on the street painting, more than likely I'm at home painting. I don't ever really stop painting. Being an illustrator and being able to do graphic design is a huge plus. As I said, it saves a lot of time than having to sketch and re-sketch when you can just have your elements on different layers and move them around, manipulate sizes, so on, and see what works and what doesn't. Using aerosol cans is very similar to using, well, the type of finish that you'll get on a tablet. So, a lot of things that I can't put in my head. I'll use digital illustration to see if it's like actually applicable and if it will work out there. And I think over time I built up a pretty good judge of if this makes sense or not, <laughs> based on how it works on the tablet. One of the major challenges I face is the spray paints I use. I use a specific brand out of Barcelona that's made for street art and murals. So 
it has a built-in primer, it has a built-in sealer. So over time, the murals don't fade as fast. But it's not available at all here, actually. So every time I'm going on the street, I have to put import time, all of that things into my timeline. So it gets a bit stretched out. It definitely brings the budget up on every piece because, as I say, you have to take import duties, you have to take shipping tax, all of that into consideration. Paying the City basically is a government-aided beautification restoration project. I sent off a proposal to the Mayor of Kingston back in 2016 about this project right now. And a couple of years later, you know, it finally came into fruition, I think, because of the work that has been going on around the city. We're actually seeing the value of spaces like this. Community feedback, 99% of the time, they're always grateful because they see it as a contribution to their space and to them. So they'll go out of their way to protect the murals. While you're out there working, the community will be there with you. Uh, like if it's even passing by, glancing looks there. And, but the motivation, in my case at least, the community will motivate me a lot. And I feel like it helps me and it pushes me to make the work even better. Once people realize that you're contributing something to them and they genuinely like the work that you're doing, you're fine. You can go anywhere and do anything. When I'm not painting, <laughs> 100% playing football or playing FIFA. I'll spend some time in the gym here and there, you know, non serious. But <laughs> yeah, it's really, I like staying active, I like moving. So in my down down time though, definitely catch me playing some FIFA, watching a movie, just clear my head. The concept of creative to me is basically anybody thinking outside the box and trying to do things differently. Mm -hmm.